Well, the main purpose of Lambda Mall is to be a form of a lobby, but a little bit more than that. The idea of Lambda Mall is that it's a huge futuristic city. Lambda Mall specifically is the hub for, for most players, which means that most of the shops are there. So you wander around Lambda Mall, there's shops, there's bars, um, it's like a travel portal as well. What's unique about it is it's not actually part of Overland. It's intended to be the internet of the future. It's, it's a visualization of all the things that we do now, which is we shop, we socialize, we just hang out and we browse. Lambda Mall was chosen to be this central hub area within the Otherland game due to Tad Williams' vision of what he saw the internet of the future be. So Lambda Mall really is a visualization of how we might see the internet in a very near future. In Lambda Mall, you're there. You're actually walking around. You're being in the internet. You're part of the internet. It's got a very virtual reality feel to it, very slightly cyberpunk, but it's also got uh, this beautiful look to it, very vibrant, very, it's a place that you really want to hang out with your friends. Well, Lambda Mall's uh, got some sort of dark secrets, so the idea is that uh, there's a part of Lambda Mall that's kind of gone chaotic, and when you go to this uh, hacker zone, as we call it, of, of Lambda Mall, um, it's a little more conflicting, it's a little more sinister, and in this place there's still bars, but they might offer you illicit substances, they might offer you buffs that are quite special and, and unavailable in the normal world. Um, because of its kind of aggressive nature, it allows the possibility of PvP play, so um, it's a slightly darker version of the Lambda Mall. You always know that no matter what, you can safely go back to Lambda Mall if you're in a safe part of Lambda Mall. We have a whole bunch of bars, so as you walk down the strip of Lambda Mall, you'll hear music thumping from uh, behind the doors, and of course when you go into the bar, you'll hear the music in, in all its glory. It's something for really every taste. I mean, we have uh, bars that are themed after the world, for example, so we have an eight-squared bar. But also we have some pretty crazy out there bars like DJ Octo and the Zebra Bar where everything's striped and we even have a really exclusive bar called Club 101 which is at the top of Mr J's. You can chat, you can have drinks which are actually buffs which in enhance your player's characteristics and some of the bars contain mini games where you can just go and have kind of small time fun with your friends. That You can customise your character. Uh, it has a metamorph shop where you can customise the shape of your character. Because in online world we feel it's very important that everybody can do what they like and can look different to, to the next person. On the internet you can be anything you want to be, which is what allows for a lot of the customization options. If you want to be an alien, be an alien. For me what really stands out is, is the extremes. We really got to extremes for body sizes and body shapes as well for male and female. Also, I think our skinning is quite interesting. We have uh, many layers of skin. So, you know, starting with simuloid, you know, first your mission is to become human or human looking. But then later through quests you find that, that you can change into many of the monster skins too. Like it doesn't change your shape, but uh, you can have, you know, scale skin, rubber skin. You have, you have special alien skins. Um, which you can then combine with, with colouring, tattoos, markings um, to, make, to make quite interesting uh, variety.